Welcome to Word Solving Action Lesson 8. Today we're going to talk about dictionaries. What kind of information can you find in a dictionary? What have you noticed about how words are organized in a dictionary? At the word study table, there is a stack of dictionaries. Pause this video and take a moment and look through the dictionary. Now that you've had a chance to look at the dictionary, what kind of information can you find in a dictionary? And what have you noticed about how words are organized in a dictionary? You may have noticed that there are guide words at the top of the page of each page in a dictionary. These two words at the top of each page tell you the first word on the page and the last word entry on each page. Guide words make it easier to find a word quickly in an alphabetized reference tool, like the dictionary that you looked at. The task today is to use guide words to alphabetize words. You'll notice on this, paper, on this slide that there are three columns. The first column has the guide words pattern and payment. The second column is P and Pearl as the guide words. And the third column has the guide words Pecan and Peep. I'm going to show you a list of different words, and you're going to figure out which column those words will go in. Patty, Peach, Petal, and Peak. Well, Patty is P-A-T-T-Y. Do you notice a column that starts with P-A-T-T? Column one, Patty is gonna go in column one. Peach is my next word. Do you notice a guide word that's, that has the letters P-E-A? Right, column two has P and Pearl. Is Peach going to fit in there? Yes because although Pearl is also P-E-A, it has an R as the next letter. Well, the next letter in Peach is a C, so it would fit in between P and Pearl. Our next word is Petal, P-E-D-A-L. It wouldn't go in my Pattern and Payment column or P and Pearl column, Let's take a look at pecan and peep. Would it fit in there? Let me see, I have P-E-C, then I have a P-E-E. -E. Petal is P-E-D, yes, it would fit in the third column. And then I have peak, P-E-E, -E. where would that one fit? Third column. My next four letters, petal, is going to go in third column because it's P-E-D and it fits in between P-E-C and P-E-E. -E. Pear is my next word and it's gonna fit in my second column. Pay, P-A-Y comes before payment but after pattern. And peace comes after P but before Pearl. My next slide shows the words peanut, paw, pill, and pause. These are my last four words. Pause the video and see if you can figure out where these words would go. Peanut, paw, pill, and pause. Nice work. Your task today will be to sort the words according to the three pairs of guide words on the three-way sort. You'll find a piece of paper at the word study station for lesson eight with three columns of guide words. The first set of guide words is wall and warm. The second set of guide words is worn and watch and the third set of guide words is water and way. 
You will also find a sheet of paper that has three columns of words on it. Your first task, if they haven't been cut out already, will be to cut these words out. Then you will sort them into the column where they belong. Once you have sorted the words, then you will take the words and write them into the column. This activity should be turned in in the word study basket. Make sure your name is at the top. If you have any questions, make sure that you first ask a classmate. Thank you and good luck.